Hello students, welcome to another session of Cubes and Cube Roots. In the last session, we discussed cubes and some patterns. Today, we are going to express cube numbers as the product of prime factors. We know that all natural numbers can be expressed as the product of powers of its prime factors. Let's see the prime factorization of some cube numbers. 8 equals 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2. 27 equals 3, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 3. 125 equals 5, multiplied by 5, multiplied by 5. 64 equals 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. 216 equals 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 3. Look this, all these factors can be grouped into 3s. That is, 8 equals 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, equals 2 cube. 27 equals 3, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 3, equals 3 cube. 125 equals 5, multiplied by 5, multiplied by 5, equals 5 cube. 64 equals 2, multiplied by 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 2 equals 2 cube multiplied by 2 cube 216 equals 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 equals 2 cube multiplied by 3 cube we can express any cube number as the product of cubes of prime factors or in other words a number that can be expressed as the product of cubes of prime factors will be a perfect cube number. Now let's try to verify whether a given number is a perfect cube or not. Is 1000 a perfect cube? The number 1000 can be expressed as 1000 equals 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5, multiplied by 5, equals 2 cube, multiplied by 5 cube. The prime factors 2 and 5 appeared in 3 times, so 1000 is a perfect cube. Next, think about 500. The number 500 can be expressed as 500 equals 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 5, multiplied by 5, multiplied by 5, equals 2 square, multiplied by 5 cube. The prime factor 5 appears 3 times, but 2 appears only twice. So 500 is not a perfect cube. If one more 2 is coming there, it will be a perfect cube. That is, 500 multiplied by 2, equals 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 5, multiplied by 5, multiplied by 5, equals 2 cube, multiplied by 5 cube, equals 1000. Which is a perfect cube? On the other hand, if we lose the two twos, from the prime factorization of 500, it will be also a perfect cube. That is, 500 divided by 2, multiplied by 2, equals 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 5, multiplied by 5, multiplied by 5, divided by 2, multiplied by 2, equals 125. Like this, we can find the smallest number that can be multiplied or divided to make it a perfect cube. Here we get the smallest number that 500 should be multiplied 
with is 2 and the smallest number that 500 should be divided by is 4. Let's do another example. Is 2058 a perfect cube? The number 2050A can be prime factorized as 2058 equal 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 7. The prime factors 2 and 3 do not appear in a group of 3. Therefore 2058 is not a perfect cube. To make it a perfect cube, we can multiply 2058 with two twos and two threes. Therefore 2058 is multiplied by two multiplied by two multiplied by three multiplied by three. That is 2058 multiplied by 36 equal to two multiplied by two multiplied by two multiplied by three multiplied three multiplied by three multiplied seven multiplied by seven multiplied by seven equal to 74,088 which is a perfect cube. Therefore, the smallest natural number by which 2058 should be multiplied with to make a perfect cube is 36. Or we can divide 2058 by 2 multiplied by 3 equal to 6. Then 2058 divided by 2 multiplied by 3 equal to 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 7 divided by 2 multiplied by 3. That is 2058 divided by 6 equal to 7 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 7 equal to 343, which is a perfect cube. Therefore the smallest number by which 2058 should be divided to make it a perfect cube is 6. Like this, we can find the smallest natural number by which a natural number should be multiplied with or divided by to make it a perfect cube. Let's have a recap. Today, we discussed how to express a cube number through prime factorization. Finding the smallest natural number such that a natural number should be multiplied with or divided by to make the original number a perfect cube. Before winding up, let's have an activity. Check whether 729 is a perfect cube using the prime factorization method. Is 3240 a perfect cube? If not, find the smallest number by which 3240 should be multiplied with so that the product is a perfect cube. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.